hello guys you're welcome back again to my youtube channel this is the jovita concept channel please if you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed please don't forget to like subscribe on the red button then turn on your notification icon so guys what i'll be teaching you guys today is how to design this simple wedding jotter okay let's get started now this is our working space okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go over to this our properties bar okay by coming over here they write this later okay then let's click over here and look for the size we'll be working with which is a4 then left click over there okay now you can see so the next thing is to come over to this place as well then left click to change it to landscape okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna imply this our shape over here so that you can be able to make use of this our working space okay by going over to this our tools bar okay come down to this our right angle left click by double clicking okay now this is it then go over to this pick two and drop the two so the next thing we're gonna do now first of all we have to imply our rulers here because it's very important okay so you left click over here you can see them then drag this down like this okay now this is it okay so you drag it down as well okay by left clicking okay then right click okay now this is it so the next thing is to come over this side as well and bring the runner as well okay then you bring it here okay you can see now then press the p on your desktop to place it at the center now you click on it again and drag it okay by left clicking okay then right click then the same thing is applicable here okay then right click let's shift it okay okay now this is it so the next thing is to bring this runa again okay then drag it over here okay then right click the same thing is applicable here as well okay let's shift it a little bit I know some of you may be wondering the purpose of this line. Yes, you need this so that your typing or any of your work won't go outside this line. Because if it pass this line, it will cut out when you'll be finishing or you're doing your pressing. So, this is how it's supposed to be, okay? So, the next thing we're going to do now is that we're going to power click something inside this our working space, okay? So, let's start by power clicking this our image, okay? let's highlight this our uh, image okay then right click and come over here you can see where the right power click then left click then you come over here where you see where your cursor is facing inside this uh, working space then left click you can see it now it's already inside this uh, working space okay so the next thing is so the next thing is to go over to this our uh, edit you can see it here then let's click over there now it has appeared here now okay so let's start separating it so that we can be able to make use of this our uh, working space okay let's keep them outside okay now this is it so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go over to this our uh, tools bar okay then click on this our uh, right angle now hold on okay you come over here you can see where this center line is located now you make sure your this uh, your cursor is facing it okay then click on it then drag it down you can see now okay it's not actually at the center okay let's put the outline first by going over there by going over here okay then right click okay the outline has appeared you can see it's not in the center so we need to shift it so that it will be in this okay okay now this is it it's already in the center line here okay so the next thing is to do the same thing in the other left side okay so by going over to this toolbar and click on this okay then come over here and draw it as well okay now this is it okay let's drop the tools okay so let's start by putting our image inside it depending on the one we want okay let's go with this okay then right click over there okay you see power click then click over here okay you guys can see now they have different shapes now you can see it now okay so let's edit this one now okay by going to this edit you can see it here then let's click over here okay now this is it then hold on the shift button on your desktop and right click and drag it up okay okay this is what we want okay okay let's shift it 
and you make sure it covers this shape okay that is what i'm trying to do okay now this is it okay okay so we need to duplicate this okay because it didn't cover all this shape okay then turn it from here you guys can see what i'm doing okay we need to the reason why i duplicate it is that we need to uh, cover this you can see now this place is still empty and they are seeing the background so we need to cover it that's why i make use of this okay now this is it okay so let's go to finish edit you guys can see it now okay let's go back because we have not finished okay now the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go over to this our tools bar again okay then click on this our right angle and come over here and draw it okay now this is it then drop the tools and come over here and apply black color okay remove the outline by right clicking okay so the next thing is to come down to this our tools bar okay you can see transparent then click on it then come over here okay then click on it here you guys can see okay we want to faint the outline so that it will not be showing and reduce the color is too black okay you guys can see now okay right click by left clicking okay i think it's too fainting let's increase it a little bit okay i think it's okay like this okay let's leave it like this okay and bring it up a little bit okay so this is it so the next thing we're gonna do now is that okay the next thing we're gonna do now is that okay let's finish the edit then we we'll go over here and bring this our background okay then let's copy it okay you guys can see now okay you can see now then power click it inside this as well okay go to edit okay let's bring it down here okay then stretch it okay 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 let's bring it down a little bit okay okay let's leave it this way first then click on finish edit so let's do this one as well first before we continue okay so the next one we're gonna do now is that we're gonna color this one now okay by let's use this color uh this color so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna click on this our color drop tools okay by clicking over it you guys can see okay this let's use this color okay let's click on it then come over here and click okay now this is the color we need okay so let's drop the tools okay okay now this is it so let's bring this our image now okay then right click on it and power click it inside this okay now this is it okay so the next thing is to edit it okay by going over to this edit okay let's click then bring this one down here okay shift page up let's see okay so we're gonna faint this our edges okay so that it, it will be showing okay let me show you guys so that you see okay you see that the edges are showing so we're gonna faint it okay let's go back to our edit okay now this is it let's zoom in so that you can see it well okay so the next thing we're gonna do by editing it is to go over to this hour you can see transparent then let's click over there okay now you bring it over to this your image and place it the place you want to faint okay now this is the place you want to start from okay sorry i'm trying to 
I did this, okay? You guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to faint this so that it won't be showing, okay? So the next thing, after doing this, you go to this bitmap, then left click, come to convert bitmap, okay? I remember that whenever you want to faint multiple image, you need to bitmap it once you're through with one, okay? So let's faint these edges as well. Okay. Okay. Then let's bitmap. Okay, convert. Okay, and make sure your color mode is always in RGB, okay? Then okay. Okay. Let's do this again so that we can reduce it well well. Okay. Let's finish and see. Okay. I think it's still showing. We need to increase it a little bit to cover up this place so that it won't be showing. Okay. Okay, let's finish. Okay, let's leave it like this for now. So the next thing, or oh, let's faint it a little bit here. Okay, let's faint it a little bit here. Let's bitmap. Okay, convert to bitmap. Okay, then bring it over here again. Okay, then finish edit. Okay, so let's go over to this our tools bar and keep the true. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna find this our we're gonna bring this our flower here, place this one here, shift page up to go up, then bring this one and place it here. Okay, shift page up to come up. Okay, now this is let's increase this so that we can see it well. Okay. And you guys see that the outline, the outline are showing, so we don't need it to be shown. So, what we're going to do now is that we're going to faint the edges, okay? By going over to this, our tools bar, then come down here, the transparent, then left click, okay? And come over here, okay? You guys can see. Okay, let's increase it so that it will be easy for us to faint. Okay, 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 then bitmap, convert to bitmap, okay, then bring it over this side. Okay. Okay. I think it's okay. You bitmap. Convert to bitmap. Okay. Then bring this here as well. Let's reduce it. Okay. 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 I think it's okay like this. Then let's bitmap. Okay. Okay, let's drop the tools. Okay. And reduce the shape, the image. Okay. So let's do the same to this one as well. Let's increase it so that we can see it clearly okay by going over to this transparent okay you click on this image okay okay you can see i'm trying to faint it okay let's leave it this way then click on bitmap convert to bitmap and okay it then bring this here as well okay 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 i think it's okay like this okay let's bitmap okay convert to bitmap 
and okay it and drop the tools okay now this is it okay so the next is to duplicate this okay and bring it over here the same thing is as the same thing is applicable here duplicate and bring it over here okay now this is it so we need to power click these two inside this particular one okay let's group the two okay then right click and power click okay you guys can see now okay let's edit by clicking over here now this is it okay let's bring this over here okay let's reduce this okay okay let's leave it this way for now okay so let's bring this one here as well and change it by facing it the other side by going over to this our properties but okay you can see now okay now this is what we want let's bring it down a little bit okay okay i think okay okay so i think it's okay like this okay now let's finish our edit okay let's finish so that we can see what we have been doing so far okay now this is it okay i think we need to faint this a little bit this one now okay i'm like going over here let's faint it a little bit okay so the next thing now is that we're gonna bring this our image inside here as well okay let's go to this our tools bar and click on this okay our rectangle and draw it over here okay i think this is okay let's drop the tools okay and increase it a little bit i think okay i'm trying to get a nice shape for it, a perfect shape i'm trying to get a perfect shape for it okay okay i think this is okay okay so the next thing now is to come over to this our tools bar as well then let's click on this right angle and draw a shape okay i think it's okay like this then drop the tools then come over to this our properties bar and let's click on this our convert to curve okay you can see now then come over to this our shape tools okay now this is it and left click then come over to this our image our right angle now okay you click on one of this node you can see where i'm pointing my cursor okay then then right click over there okay you can see where they said red you can see where they said delete then right let's click over there now this is it so let's bring this to center okay okay now this is what we need let's drop the tools by going over here okay so let's bring this here okay then we need to duplicate this okay then let's face it up okay this is what we want and we need another one okay so let's hold the shift and right and left click on our crystal and drag it okay now this is what we need so let's change it to 90 degree okay okay so let's bring it up here and closer okay now this is it so we need to duplicate it so that it can as well be in the other side here okay by holding the shift and left click on the on the mouse okay you can see then come over here as well and change the facing okay now this is exactly what we really need okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we start power clicking this our image inside here okay so let's power click this by right clicking over here okay you can see power click then place it over here okay then then the same thing is applicable here you click on this you see power click you place it over here then you bring this one as well right click or click you place it over here 
you bring this as well right click you see power click then you place it over here so the next thing now is to fix it to paste so that it will cover this out this uh, inside image inside background that is showing that is showing okay by clicking over on this image then edit you can see i think this okay let's reduce it a little bit okay more okay i think this is okay like this now okay okay let's finish edit okay the next thing is to do the same here okay you bring it over here okay okay this is it okay then finish edit the same thing is applicable edit okay you bring it over here okay okay i think you guys can see this okay then finish edit and do the same here click on it edit then increase it a little bit and bring it down okay okay i think it's okay like this okay okay then finish edit so the next thing is to cover this pink background now that is still showing so that the image will rhyme the same so that the image will rhyme with the background of it okay so let's go to this our color dropping tools by going down to this our tools bro okay you can see color you can see color dropping tools okay then left click on it then come over to this one now you can see let's uh we want to make use of this our white background we want everything to rhyme together you can see now the this thing is pointing at the white one so let's let's click over the okay you come over here and fill it now this is what we want okay so the same thing is applicable in other ones but first of all let's drop this one okay then come over here and pick the color dropping tools okay then click on this you can see then you can see now fill it here okay now this is it okay so you drop this as well okay then come and pick the color dropper okay come over here and pick the color then place it here to fill it now this is it okay so you drop the tools again they come over here and pick it the tools then come over here and pick the color you're looking for okay then place it here now this is it okay so let's drop the tools and highlight this our image okay okay let's group it okay but before we group it let's cluster this a little bit together okay let's ungroup it okay let's bring this a little bit together okay 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 then let's bring this down a little bit okay then this up okay okay so let's group this by going over here you can see where the right group it uh, object then let's click okay so let's power click this inside this hour okay you need to power click it inside this bit i don't know my power clicking is not showing okay let's just fix it the bit if your power clicking is working you make use of power clicking okay so let's fix it here since power clicking is not working now okay so you place it over here okay now this is it okay 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 so let's delete this because you don't need it okay so we need to draw another cycle by clicking over here okay you can see okay and place it here remove the outline okay and reduce it a little bit okay i need to reduce it 
okay let's put outline on this maybe yellow and increase it let's put four okay i think this four is okay 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 let's leave it this way okay i think it's okay like this so let's start by fixing this our test okay let's finish it first okay and start by fixing this our test inside here let's bring this our ring first of all here and duplicate it okay then bring this one here as well because we need it here okay okay now this is it okay so let's so let's start so let's start so let's start implying this our test inside this our working space okay so we need let's start with this okay let's cut this out okay let's click right click okay you highlight the one you want to make use of okay right click cut okay come over here and paste okay let's drop the tools the cutsy is not complete i need the cutsy a couple the couple okay okay then bring it down here and give it black outline okay and change the font character going over here let's use this and increase this so that it will be visible okay and place it here okay okay I think it's okay like this so we need to reduce this okay okay we need to reduce this our uh, line here okay but first of all let's go with okay let's edit it okay and even increase this our uh, flower edit so that it is it will be more visible so that it will be more visible okay okay let's see let's see okay i think it's showing now okay it's showing and we need to shift this thing because the gap is too much the gap is too much the gap is too much this is it it's okay like this okay 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 hope you guys are seeing what i'm doing okay so let's shift this so that it will be in the center okay now this is it so the next thing now is that we're gonna bring this one as well okay and cut it out by highlighting it okay then right click you see code okay come over here and right click left click and left click right click you come over here and you come over here and right you come over here and left click okay you can see now right click so come over here and right click you come over here and left click then right click and paste okay now this is what you want let's bring it to the place you want it to be then drop the tools and click on it okay we need to duplicate it and edit it 
we need to enter it i mean to say okay we need to enter it okay then click over here enter then drop the tools and control k to break it apart okay so bring this control k to break it apart so we need to increase it okay now let's change the font character let's use this let's change the font character you don't really need that font okay beautiful and let's type let's type another one okay okay let's change it the font character beautiful okay let's use this font okay we'll bring this aside then bring this here and reduce it okay let's place it here okay so let's cut this b out or let's type another b okay then change the font character let's use this font and bring it over here okay we need to change the font here as well okay okay let's use this font let's drop the tools okay delete okay so the next thing is to increase this our capital b okay because the two are trying to start from b so we're gonna make use of one b is also the part of the design okay hope you can see it now okay so let's give it white outline by going over here you can see okay you click on this our outline okay then come over here you can see let's give it maybe three you can see you click over this okay then click okay then give it let's give it green out okay let's go with green here as well and white outline okay green here and white outline okay now this is it so we need to reduce this so that this can actually enter here okay then bring this here reduce it a little bit okay okay then bring this one here okay now this is it okay so let's fix the page okay so the next one here now is to cut out this okay you let's click on it then when you see next click you hold and drag it then right click and cut out come over here left click and right click okay then you paste and drop the tools so that it can allow you to move this okay so let's bring this here and give it maybe yellow outline a uh, yellow color okay and increase it okay let's bring it here okay let's actually make it a title case by going over here you can see title case no uppercase 
okay and change the font by going over here okay let's use this font character so let's reduce it okay and bring it down a little bit okay okay no let's change the font character let's use this at least is more visible okay so the next one is this you click on it highlight you click on it and left okay let's click and highlight then cut come over here and paste okay it didn't cop okay don't mind my mouse cut come over here and paste okay okay so we need to break this apart Control k in your desktop okay so let's increase it and bring this here okay I don't think you need this. Okay. We need another font character for this. Okay. Let's check. Let's use this. Okay. Okay. Then bring this one here increase and change the font character by clicking over here okay okay let's bring this down a little bit okay then you bring this one here and reduce it a little bit okay okay i think what we need here is and not word oh we still need that word as well sir and okay and place it here and increase it okay so let's change the color of this rough maybe let's give it white red then white outline okay let's give it three behind okay let's increase the outline okay let's use four okay let's do the same here okay right click then come over here then let's click okay click on the four then behind scale and okay it okay i think the outline we need to increase it a little bit let's use six okay I think this six is okay okay let's increase this our ring okay okay I think it's okay like this now okay okay so the next thing now is to bring this our uh, appreciation over here and reduce it but before we need to cut this appreciation out okay then right click cut come over here and right click and paste okay then let's give it a color let's give it blue and change the font character by going over here 
Okay. Okay. Let's see this. And underline it. Okay. Let's drop the tools and click on the line. Okay. Let's bring it up a little bit. Okay. The same thing is applicable here. Let's cut this out. Okay. Then come over here, right click and paste. Okay. And bring it down here. Give it blue color by you can see now. Let's click and change the font character. Let's use this and increase it a little bit, okay, by holding and dragging it up. Okay, so let's bring this here by right clicking and drag it over here. Okay, then reduce it a little bit. Okay, okay, let's bring it down a little bit. Okay, then bring this one down as well and increase it. Okay. Okay, now this is it. Okay. So the next one now is to put this Nancy West Ralph here as well. Okay, let's just type. Okay, let's type it. Nancy. Okay. Okay, let's Nancy West Ralph. Okay, let's drop this and remove the outline and give it black out a uh, black color. Okay, let's bring this here. Okay, let's give this circle a you know outline. Okay, let's go back to edit and click on it. Okay, let's see how it may be. Okay. Okay, so let's change the font character. Let's try this. Okay, control K. Okay. Then let's reduce this and give it a cursive outline con so cursive font. Let's use this. Okay. Okay, let's increase this I'm trying to increase this hope you're seeing what I'm doing okay okay then let's increase this rough as well okay Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, let's edit this. Then click edit this one as well. Then bring this. And bring it up a little bit okay okay this one down a little bit okay let's see let's see I think we need to increase this this we need to increase it a little bit so let's ungroup this okay click on this okay and shift it back small 
and do the same thing here okay 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 then click on finish edit okay okay let's bring this down a little bit okay so guys this is where you're gonna end in today's video okay we'll continue next in our next video so please if you have been following me up and you like my update and you have not subscribed please do not forget to like subscribe on red button then turn on your notification icon share and share with your friends share with anybody that you know that is interested in learning graphics design see you guys in our next video thank you guys for watching